Hello my dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel that's Concepts of Chemistry. Before starting today's lecture, please do like, subscribe and share this channel and press the bell icon to get the regular updates of the upcoming lectures. My dear students, today we are going to study why carbon tetrachloride CCl4 is nonpolar. To evaluate the extent of polarity, we usually find a resultant vector of all the vectors present in that molecule. So let's make the structure of carbon tetrachloride first. So I'm writing, we are talking about carbon tetrachlorides that CCl4. So carbon tetrachloride is CCl4. Here the central element in case of carbon tetrachloride, the central element comes out to be carbon. In carbon tetrachloride, the carbon is sp3 hybridized. And we all know that the standard structure for sp3 hybridization is tetrahedral. So let's make the tetrahedral structure of CCl4. That's my carbon, the central element. That's the first bond with first chlorine. Second bond with second chlorine. Third bond with third chlorine. And fourth bond with fourth chlorine. Now, let's find the directions of vectors. I am talking about the first chlorine now. We all know that electronegativity of chlorine is greater than that of carbon. So chlorine is going to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself. Thereby chlorine will acquire a delta negative charge and carbon will acquire a delta positive charge. So the direction of vector in this case will be towards chlorine because vector always head towards negative pole and tail towards the positive pole. So we got the direction of first vector. Now let's talk about the second vector. Now the second chlorine is again going to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself thereby chlorine will acquire delta negative charge and carbon will acquire a delta positive charge. So the direction of second vector also comes out to be in this direction that is towards chlorine and tail towards the carbon. Now let's talk about the third chlorine. Again electronegativity of chlorine is greater than carbon. So chlorine is going to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself. So chlorine will acquire a delta negative charge. Again carbon is going to have delta positive charge. So the direction of vector, the third vector will be in this direction that is towards chlorine and tail towards the carbon. Now let's talk about the fourth vector or we can say the fourth polar bond your fourth chlorine the chlorine the fourth chlorine is again going to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself because chlorine has more electronegativity than carbon so chlorine will acquire a delta negative charge and again carbon is going to have the delta positive charge now the direction of fourth vector will be towards the fourth chlorine and tail towards the carbon so we can easily see that in this structure we got the four vectors of equal magnitude because all the side elements were chlorine around the central element carbon. All the four vectors are in opposite directions or we can say at equal angles from the carbon. So these four vectors are going to cancel each other. These four vectors are going to cancel each other. Thereby, the resultant vector, the resultant vector for CCl4 molecule 
comes out to be zero thereby dipole moment that is mu dipole moment mu comes out to be zero as dipole moment is zero it confirms that ccl4 molecule is non polar so that's the reason why ccl4 is non polar because all the four vectors are cancelling each other as they are in opposite directions and of the equal magnitudes so that's all for today i hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please do like subscribe and share this channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed